Alright, g'day guys, and welcome back to another Realmworks video. Tonight we're going to be looking at a uh, integration of another product uh, with Realmworks. Uh, the name of the uh, the application is Inspiration Pad Pro, and basically what I've been trying to consider is uh, how do we better uh, get functionality for random tables at the table. Um, basically, use use Realmworks to launch uh, into better random tables so we can you know quickly uh, spill out the results to our players. Um, I've, I've done another video on how to create random tables uh, inside of Realmworks. Um, that's basically working on the idea that you know you're still rolling a dice and you're you're basically going back to the table uh, and checking out the results. This one here is going to be more of an automatic result tonight. So you click a button, you get an automatic result. It rolls in the background for you and it spits out uh, something that you can use straight away. So let's jump over to Realmworks and have a look. All right, so in front of me, you can see I've got the website up for mbos.com. Okay, up these here. These guys are um, basically uh, RPG software developers. Uh, they create a number of products, as you can see in front of me. The one we're going to be looking at tonight is Inspiration Pad Pro 3. Uh, we can go into that. That's in front of me here. And you can go ahead and download that now. Okay, for Windows. Um, well, now that we've got that installed, I've already done it, obviously we'll jump over Realmworks and what I've done is I've basically come into my mechanics section. And you can see down here under my gameplay, I've created a new article called Random Table. I've given, given that a plural and another names of random tables just in, so I can pick up both. And you can see here I've got some foreign objects that have been added. Now what I mean by foreign objects is you go Add snippet below, more advanced type foreign object. All right, and we can do that and we can basically add another object. So I'm just going to go ahead and click open here. We'll go over to the documents, inspiration pad, and let's have a look in generators. And we'll bring in the treasure and we'll go in orc hoard. So what I've basically done here is I've linked to the files that Inspiration Pad Pro is working. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Inspiration Pad, Pad Pro and show you what I'm talking about. You can see here I've got some folders that expand on the left and under the treasure you can basically see orchord.ipt and you click that and it basically returns a result. All right, which is really, really cool because, you know, that, that's quick and efficient and you get some really uh, interesting results. Um, you know, if someone did kill someone at the table, I could turn around and say you found a club and a rabbit carcass on them, and that's that's simple. All right, but where Realmworks uses, how do we get that functionality from here? It's really quite simple. Um, if I go and have a look in the actual folder structure, you can see those IPT files that we spoke about before are basically replicated in this folder structure. So once you've installed it, it's under your documents, under Inspiration Pad Pro, Generators and Treasure. And there's a file there. All right. And all I've basically done is come into Realmworks and go and add a snippet below. And then basically opened up one of these objects. So let's go random books. And as you can see, by doing this, I'm creating myself a bit of an index of things that I can, I can roll on now. Um, quite easily uh, without having to worry about having this application open all the time. I can just basically have it there when I need it. So in this case here I'm going to come along and go all right you've just killed someone you need to pick their pockets. Uh, you get a severed steel warm ear wrapped in a leaf and done. All right or someone comes along and says oh we found a book. Okay so you found Vera a complete history by Sebri. It's a 26 pages a well-bound book with a bare leather cover. The title of this book is marked on the spine. The papyrus pages on the book itself are bound by a leather tie. The penmanship is poor, but pen strokes are clear. The book is a lawful read with the contents mandeering on a tangents and rarely sticking to the topic. I can then close that and keep going. All right, as you can see, that's quick and that's really, really efficient. I, I quite like it. I don't have to have an extra application open all the time for me to manage. I can basically just use it when I want it. Okay, and as you can obviously understand, working in Realmworks, we can now come along... Um, Anywhere, keeping in mind that you can call your articles whatever you like. Uh, let's say we're in the Pirates Cove, in the cave entrance. 
a snippet below. You killed a pirate. Roll on the random table. Oh, we're going to pick up some more things. Alright. You killed a pirate. As you can see, it's linking up to my sea bandit. Uh, now I get to roll on the random table. Alright, we're going to pick his pockets. Alright, you got three gold pieces, a handful of raisins, and a pewter earring. Fantastic. Done. Uh, now I go back to where I was and keep reading. All right, as you can see, that's easy and that's efficient. Now, the good thing about the way this program is structured is there's more of these files out there. Uh, if you actually uh, hit up the nbos.com forums, uh, you'll actually find that you can actually go and download other people's IPT files. So, for example, the mundane equipment from the player handbook was one that I downloaded. It didn't come with the application by default. So get out there and have a search around and see if there's anything that's interesting that you can find. And you might be able to find some really cool tables. Um, I think this is this is a really cool thing. Uh, this is some, uh, some integration here that uh, I certainly hadn't considered before. Uh, and hopefully this will be useful to some of you guys at the tables. Um, keeping in mind that you could make different articles for different tables for things. So you could have a random table uh, equipment and then have all the equipment types in there. You can have a random table for uh, the other ones that they've got in here. So they've got encounters. So adventure hooks, uh, NPCs on the street. All right, as you can see, there's some really cool stuff in here. And you can basically then use, utilize that all inside Realmworks and link to it really quickly. Um, create individual articles if you want. So you can actually come over in your adventures and type, um, you know, random table tavern names and it will link directly to the tavern's name, names if you want. Or you could actually go as far as to go, all right, the Pirate's Cove, I'm doing my prep. I know that I'm going to need to kill um, a pirate. So therefore, when I do this, I'm just going to come in here during my prep time and add this snippet directly in here. Um, and we're going to come along and go picked pockets. And click save and now you know you've killed your pirates you play this you go all right you get a very well cut bloodstone and bar of soap next one they kill you get a razor a silver jewelry chain and a platinum piece goodbye guys that's amazing i love it um all right so that's inspiration pad pro that's by nbos and as you can see it integrates rather uh, efficiently into realmworks in a way that just makes it very efficient to use um, so hopefully that's useful to you guys. Um, if you've got any questions, if there's anything else you'd like to see in uh, future videos, please do ask for them in the comments below. Um, apologies to anyone who saw the uh, My Little Pony video go out. Um, apparently my, my three-year-old daughter's uh, Google Foo has gone to a whole new level and she's learning how to use YouTube now. Going to need to figure out how to stop that. All right, guys, uh, apart from that, I'll speak to you on the forums. Have a great day.